Hello there, my name is Kuma, and today I'm giving you my first impressions on Senshi from the Dungeon Meshi collab. Senshi is a healing defender, or a guardian as they are officially called, and with his addition, healing defenders now have as many representatives as protectors when you ignore 3 stars and below. I guess it's to be expected that they would have the bigger number of operators, considering these two classes are the basic defenders. I can't say I'm very excited to see Senshi in this class, we all know that healing defenders all kinda do the same thing, and also I haven't watched Dungeon Meshi myself, yet, I intend to watch it, very soon, but I don't have a previous emotional connection to the character nor anything like that. So let's have a look at his kit and see if he is any fun. In his talent, Senshi increases his own healing effectiveness and defense. This looks very similar to Hung. Hung has a talent that looks very much like this. I was originally thinking that maybe Senshi would reach defense levels close to the protector base, but after realizing Hung has a talent that's similar, I don't see it happening anymore. Which is fine, don't get me wrong, I'm just telling you where my mind went. So his talent isn't special, but his skills are very interesting. When you see his animations, the first thing that comes to mind is Gumu, because Senshi has cooking animations on both of his skills, just like Gumu does. So I hope to see some fan art of the two cooking together, like come on, it gotta happen, someone will do it, I'm sure of it. But back to his skills. On S1, Senshi stops attacking and cooks for 3 seconds before healing, just like a normal healing defender S1. And as a bonus, he gives a buff to the healed ally. It can be an attack increase, a SPD, or max HP. I imagine this is a flavor effect, the small buff I mean, based on what it happens on the anime, but I wouldn't know, because as I said I didn't watch it yet. What I do know is that I like this skill. Maybe they decided to simply not write that on the teaser, but I wanted to assume that Senshi does not have the HP threshold restriction that the other healing defenders, except for Gumu, have. I very much prefer Gumu's S1 to the other skills shared by the others, but hey, I could be wrong on that. Just let me dream with the possibility of having another healing defender that does not have the 50% HP threshold. Another thing that we know is that his S1 won't have charges, that we know for sure. It sounds very weird for a healing defender S1, and I wonder how it's going to work during battle. Like, will he start cooking and leave a meal prepared without attacking, and just start charging the next cycle of the skill 1, and then just keep it there for when someone takes damage? And also, won't it be extremely easy for Senshi to trigger the healing bug, since he takes 3 whole seconds to send his healing off? And in case there's anyone who doesn't know about this, let me explain real quick what the healing bug is. When you have an operator with a healing skill that heals a amount, like, like all the healing defenders have in their S1, or for example, Swire Alter, I think can have the same problem on her S1, these operators, when they are going to heal an ally, and that ally becomes full HP so that they can't receive healing anymore, these operators can just get stuck in the middle animation, like they just don't move anymore before they can heal someone with their skill. So Senshi having that much time between his skill animation starting and him going to heal someone, it could bring that bug to happen a lot. But of course, these are things that we'll have to see. It just leaves me wondering. As for Senshi's S2, he starts cooking and stops attacking for 10 seconds. During these 10 seconds, he regens allies every second, and when he's done cooking, he does a big heal on everyone inside his range, Gumu's S2 range by the way, 8 running tiles, and then he gives mana to everyone. What does mana do? I have absolutely no idea, but it's probably something the other characters from the collab will use. Senshi is the first teaser they released, so right now there is no more information about that, at least when I am recording and releasing the video. Maybe the Dungeon Meshi fans can tell us in the comments how mana works in that anime, but we will see once the other teasers come out. 
This skill is a little bit different from what you would expect. It has the weird stop attacking for 10 seconds line, which Gumu also has. But different from Gumu, who just increases her own defenses during that period, Senshi will be just giving all that regen to everyone inside his range. Even then, this skill only lasting for 10 seconds, a much shorter time than the other healing defender skill too, it feels like this would have a shorter skill cycle, so that you could spam that regen and get a lot of those mana points. But of course, I have no idea how weak or strong this will be without the numbers, so I don't know. This could very well be a dock situation from the second R6 collab, where he has a normal skill cycle that just heals for a lot, but feels weird because it takes so long to come back. So you have that situation when you are healing a lot, but you're not healing very often. One way or another, that's Senshi and my thoughts on him. He's not very shiny, but that's to be expected from a healing defender that is not a 6 star. Tell me your opinions on Senshi in the comments, leave me a like if you enjoyed this talk, and I hope everyone has a very nice day. Peace out.